Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some nuts from Trader Joe's. We have the car caramel coffee almonds, and then we have sesame honey almonds. Sounds wonderful. And these are the buffalo style seasoned almonds. So they're all almonds from Trader Joe's. The uh, sesame in the center are $7.49. The buffalo uh -huh. were $3.99, and the caramel were $4.99. So. Wonder this one's eight ounces. This is 16 ounces. Though. So the sesame is twice as big. So it makes sense that it was 749. Yeah. This is eight ounces. Right. So the buffalo and those are eight ounces. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to cheat and use wow, scissors. I'm not going to fight it. Just going to go for it. Okay. This, uh, you know, they, they pay people for all that fancy writing, but they didn't on these. <laughs> So, oh, okay. to, to talk about what they are. Oh, there's a mint. Don't eat that. Oh, don't eat that. Okay. They it's not a mint. It's not a free mint. <laughs> it's to keep the moisture out of it. Okay. <laughs> Caramel coffee almonds, uh, seven servings in the container, a fourth cup, 33 grams is 200 calories. Wow. Mm. That's a lot of calories. Processed and packaged in Thailand. This came all the way from Thailand. It looks like uh, those little sugar crystals that Ashley likes Definitely to eat. Definitely don't know like that. Um, those are very crispy. Mm -hmm. I, if you like flavored coffee, mm -hmm. I can see you would enjoy that. Mm -hmm. Because it's more of a caramel coffee flavor, which is what it should be. But it tastes like a, it's more coffee than caramel. But I get the caramel flavor. Those are mm -hmm. very dangerous. They are. They're very addictive. Because mm -hmm. I don't really like co coffee flavored stuff, but mm -hmm. these are actually really good. It, I think, mm -hmm. it has good. a little bit of a bite from the coffee, but then it has that caramel that, that makes it a little bit sweet, but not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. it, they're not overly sweet. Um, and then uh, it's the crunch. You have like, like this, it's like a, a glaze mm -hmm. over the, the, the whole almond. And so it gives it a, a really nice crunch. It's very little ingredients too. Almond, sugar, butter, cream slash milk, coffee powder, and salt. Mm -hmm. They're nice. Those are, if, if you normally like, sh like sugary sweet things, this is not that. This no. is, this more is about not coffee very sweet. But it's not strong coffee. It's no, a but nice you can tell balance. it's coffee. Yeah, it's yeah. just a nice No, balance. they did a good job. Okay. These are my side though. Kevin chose these. I love sesame. Sesame honey almonds. Um, and what kind of sesame seeds you get at the bottom? Product, once again, <laughs> a product of Thailand. Um, 15 servings in the container, a fourth cup, 30 grams is 180 calories. There's a lot of sesame seeds on the bottom. A lot, yes. I love sesame seeds. Yeah. I do too. Just sesame seeds by themselves. Yes. They smell good. I like that little nutty kind of flavor. Okay. Ooh, I get two stuck together. I do get the sesame. I don't get the honey. I'm assuming that's how they're stuck to them, but I don't, I don't mm -hmm. really get that flavor. These are just as dangerous as the first ones. They are, but in a different way. Mm -hmm. These are not, they're crunchy, but they're not quite as the sugary coating crunchy as right. the first ones were. But you do get that sesame flavor. You do. You get a sesame flavor, but it's not as strong as like in a sesame stick or like in a no, sesame, sesame sticks are a lot stronger. Yeah, sesame sticks like that you would get a trail mix mm -hmm. or just by themselves. They're much, much stronger. Um, this you still taste, uh, especially at the end, the almond. Mm -hmm. So you get Sweet the almond. almond. It's a it's a raw. Um, a very raw almond flavor. Mm -hmm. With not with, a lot of saltiness either. No, with the sesame. It's good. It's still, like I said, you're going to be putting your hands back in that bag again and again. Uh, no sweetness though. No, there's no None. sweetness. But for these to be, well, fourth of a cup, 33 grams for 200. This is 30 for 180. So probably about the same, honestly. Pretty close to the same, at least. Okay, now these, those were both from Thailand, right? Mm -hmm. These are just uh, from California. 
Uh, eight servings per container, a fourth cup, 30 grams is 180 calories. A lot of stuff from Trader Joe's is from other countries though. A lot of people are like, they, that always surprises them during these videos because I try to always say where stuff comes from. And most, a lot of the stuff from Trader Joe's is from other countries. It well, says pro almond product of USA, but packaged in. Processed and processed packaged. Packaged in Thailand. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Very interesting. These okay. Doesn't bother me. I just, I love hearing different places that things uh, are from. Okay. Buffalo style seasoned almonds. Um, eight servings per container, a fourth cup, 30 grams, 108. Ooh. Gosh, that smells good. Mm -hmm. The first thing that touches your tongue is vinegar. Get that vinegary kind of hot sauce flavor. Mm -hmm. Got some heat to it though. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, Burned the whole back of my mouth. Mm -hmm. It's on fire. Um, yes. Good. Roasted almonds, buffalo style seasoning, which has me. vinegar powder, red pepper, sea salt, garlic powder. Um, it has um, canola oil, sea salt. Those are excellent, but they're very, um, very uh, hot. spicy hot. Yes. Yeah. So you do, I agree with Kevin completely. You get vinegar, but then you get that heat. Yeah. And it is like sound. a, yeah, it's like settled into the center of my tongue, right mm -hmm. where I but laid that, that almond. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. Um, mine is where I've chewed it up. It's kind of all the back of my tongue. Right. It's no. good though, I do enjoy it. It's a little hotter than I would want to eat regularly. I mean like, if it had that flavor with just a touch less heat. That's exactly how I I would sit there and eat these like candy. I would too. But if they, they had dialed it back just a I little bit. I mean, just though. a little mm -hmm. bit. Not much. I mean, I'm borderline right now. It's like, I want to eat more, but it's like, I really don't like that yeah. burn in the back of my throat. Because so buffalo seasoning, is a, it's a terrific seasoning, mm -hmm. but these are just, they, they went a hair too far with the heat Price. to make them pleasant. Price. Yes. Now, if you get them, you might go, those are not at all. You yes. know, I mean, it just depends on who, you, who, what kind of stuff you like. But to make this a, 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 a snack that you would want to sit on the couch and eat, it needs to be a more pleasurable experience. And this is just a little bit too hot yeah. for me to have that pleasurable experience. I do enjoy the flavor, though. It's got mm -hmm. that really good vinegary flavor. I don't really taste the almond really strong because it's kind of killed no, off by that covered. vinegary flavor. <laughs> it's and it's got that pepper, like a hot sauce flavor. <laughs> Yes. Like Frank's red hot sauce kind of reminds you of that a little bit. Right. I will have a picture for you uh, of these at the end. If I was to choose one to be my favorite, I'm going to choose. Yeah, I think I am because I love that crunch. The coffee. I probably too. And then my second is going to be the, the honey. Yeah. The sesame honey. Only because the buffalo is a little just a touch too hot. Touch oh, that would have been uh, number one. Right. Because I love that flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting there eating them and I'm just burning. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.